Hey, 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 what's up, you guys? What is up? Hey, check out the scene. Y'all remember we bush hogged this? Uh, I forgot what day it was. I forgot. I forgot. But anyway, you see, I bush hogged it. It's a little more cleaner right here. Of course, I wasn't able to go all the way down the woods line to Mother Beaver Dam number two, which is where we're getting ready to head to. But at least this little area is clean where we park at. And yep, you guys already know it's been over a week. It's been over a week, a week and a couple of days since we've been to Mother Beaver Dam number two where the trail camera is, you guys. So I said, man, I gotta check out what's going on at Mother Beaver Dam number two. And somebody just takes me or something there. But let's get this, uh, this is my dirt bike. I'm gonna get my, my RMZ 450 off the trailer here. <laughs> my Suzuki RMZ 450, you guys. Oh man, she's a beast. She's a beast. You know what? I'm feeling strong today. I'm feeling real strong today, you guys. I'ma lift my dirt bike up off the trailer. Whoa! I'm strong. <laughs> All right, let's get on this dirt bike. Let's uh, let's get it started. Let's go. <laughs> now, if it's a 450, I can't get too pingy in the sound. But if it's a 250, I can get a little pingy because that's a two-stroke. <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, so I got off work a little early today because the wind was high. And that, that knocked me and Dan out from spraying. He's spraying the soybeans and I'm spraying uh, over the peanuts again if you saw the video yesterday so I got a little bit of time right now you guys and it's uh it's pretty warm out right now it's like 87 degrees and oh yeah see that wind is kicking sorry about that but anyway um it's like 87 degrees and the humidity is like 60 I think it was 61 so it's, uh, it's a little toasty out, but at least the wind will give us a little breeze. But man, this is growing up. Oh man. Yeah, like I got some time, but like I was getting ready to say, um, I have a prayer request appointment. And so y'all already know, I'm not about to tell you that we ain't gonna tell out nothing because y'all already know how that go. If there's something out there, <laughs> you already know I can't let it go. I can't let it go. I gotta get it flowing. Gotta get it flowing, you guys. And yeah, back to the prayer request thing. Yeah, so some of you probably realize, but in my description box, I got my email address there for anybody who wants to send me prayer requests. And uh, man, I've been doing this for years, 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 years. I actually pray with people over the phone. If you desire prayer for anything, anything, you can hit me up by my email. And if you wanna pray over the phone, we can do that. I, I, it was years ago, I got a, uh, a number that I use where people can call and uh, you can do it that way or I can call your number and of course when I do that I never save anybody's number so <laughs> that's confidential and your prayer is confidential so I don't discuss I don't discuss with people uh, what I pray for, for people about. But that option is on the table, you guys. I'm pretty interested to see how things are looking out here. Wow. Man. Oh yeah, you fly. I'm gonna bite flies out of the worst. I didn't spray the top of my head and that's what you're trying to bite too. 
Oh man, all those things are sticky. Man. Oh. Huh. I keep forgetting to look for a can. I want to stick a can on the tire and you guys can hear the dirt bike sound. <laughs> We're almost there, you guys. I feel my legs burning up in these chest waders, though. Great day. Whew. I said, you know what? We'll come out here and instead of going to Beaver Dam Creek like we was at yesterday, we'll give it some time to see how things play out um, before we Oh, is that bike about to fall? Ugh. Before we go back out there again. Even though there is some things that we got to do out there, as you guys know. Yeah, and so I appreciate you guys' uh, suggestions about, about the hog wire. I forgot about hog wire. I know what it looks like. Like you said, the, the squares are bigger. And of course, it would make you know, more sense to have bigger wire. That way, um, more trash can pass through there. Um, but I guess we'll try out that, that, that smaller fence first and see how it does. And I appreciate you guys informing me about um, the leg, the leg chaps or the snake, the snake thingies. I ain't even had a chance really to, to look at all the comments good because like I got off work and I came immediately out here. But I seen a few comments where some of you guys were informing me what those things were. I don't even think I've seen any comment about who got them for me though. I have to look, so I can't, I can't, oh, spiders are just everywhere. I have to read the comments and, uh, and see. And then I'll thank you. All kind of spiders everywhere. I guess it's been so long since we've been in here. And I do not have those things on right now. I, I hadn't taken the time to try and try them on yet so lord willing we'll be protected out here <laughs> from the snakes in jesus name and ooh, that's pretty low there but we gotta uh, continue to walk See what's going on? I see the water moving. Wow, I was just looking at the water and the sun is shining so bright. Man, that thing is about to blind me, you guys. Woo! All right, we're coming through. Snakes, if you're in here. Man, I looked at that water and I got like a little circle. I mean, the sun was shining on the water and I got like a little circle in my eyeballs. Ugh, snakes. Whew, let me put this backpack over here and uh, we're gonna walk over here see what's going on over here you guys uh, well there's oh I can see through the water I guess it hasn't been disturbed and it's like pretty clear I just saw a fish swim through there um, there's a little trash here Oh, phone going off. Spiders. I mean, they got web all around the back of that thing. <laughs> all right, you guys. Let's uh, let's open it up. Are those baby spiders on there? Come on. Ah. <laughs> Let's open it up. See what's going on in here, you guys. Man, it's hot. I am sweating bullets. The battery is at half. And... It's saying 116. I don't remember how many items was on here. What? Wait a minute. What was that? Oh my. 
<laughs> if that's what I think it is. Oh my goodness. Okay, I see the beaver. And the old raccoon as always. Anyway, we'll see what's on here, you guys. We will see what is on here. Um, I guess we got to go down there and, and check out the other damn spot. See what's going on. Um, uh, let's take a, let's take a stroll down here. Yeah, there's definitely some trash there. so hot it is so hot Whew. let me I guess I'll go no let me go ahead and grab my backpack just in case because y'all already know y'all already know there's liable to be something down there there's something always happening at the beaver dams <laughs> all right I got it snatched up in my zipper my zipper's acting up. My zipper on my boot peg. Oh yeah, we saw a snake back here last time, didn't we? Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Ugh. Wait a minute. Ugh. Wait. Ugh. Ugh. Oh boy. Let me not step there no more. Oh. Ugh. That is soft. That is so. Oof. Oh boy, you guys. You see this? Again. Again, they have built it up. Again. So <laughs> we're gonna have to tear that out right quick, you guys. Alright, let me beat the snakes away. Let us tear this out again right quick. All right, you guys. Ooh, ah. I see a big piece right here to begin with. Wait a minute. Did you just stab me in the leg stick? Don't do that. Do not do that. Hmm. Alright, all that little smaller stuff. Let me get it with this. Come on. The whole pile wanna come? Come on. Come on. Be careful not to stick these chest waiters. Man, we almost got it all at once, you guys. I know it's more down in there, but it's flowing already. I already see a flow there. There's some mud we got built up there. Y'all know it. Get it flowing like rivers of living water. No beaver dam. No beaver dam. Formed against us, y'all prosper. Wait a 
This is the kind of persistency that I'm used to. A lot of beavers are always rebuilding. Whenever there's water, it's so dry at Beaver Dam Creek. They ain't got nothing to work with. you guys one day we'll go back there in the scary beyond <laughs> in the scary beyond back there one day I think I think I'm dreading having to bring the brush cutter on that bike. That's what, <laughs> that's what's hindering me. I think we got the most of it. a little deep there. Oh yeah, wait a minute, it's still going down. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. That goes a little deeper than... I guess I'm breaking up that loose mud. Probably need to focus on this end down here. So to have somewhere to go instead of bodying up up there. All right, you guys. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? Piece of bark. I think I'm gonna let that do for now. Y'all know they're gonna build it back up until we can figure out what's going down there to get that water moving on out of there. It's like that tree is a barricade. Don't go beyond the tree. <laughs> So we're gonna we gonna head back on down there, you guys. I'm telling you, that's gonna be a tall wall there if I keep throwing stuff there, but it ain't nowhere else to throw it, man. I definitely don't want to put it on that side since that's the side I always use. Mm. Mm. Think we can get it? 
Yep. Look at that flow. We getting it flowing a little bit. Getting it flowing a little bit, you guys. Now, whenever I gotta put stuff up high like that, that other rake without the handle is best because I can just pick it up and do like that. Sort of twisting that handle is a little bit of a, a job. <clears throat> Going upward, but that's all right. We will get it. Yes, we will. Mm. Yeah, that's the problem there. <laughs> when you get it close to your body, <clears throat> sort of hard to control. there. I guess the beavers was, ooh, the spinning tires. Basically a lot of mud right now. Not, not a whole bunch of sticks. Oh, that's a little long one there, huh? What you got hung on down there? Mm. It's trying to. There we go. Trying to be a pain there. Wow! They cut that tree down, huh? Oh, wow.
Go ahead and fall back in the water. We're gonna do our mud dance. There's gotta be a fish. Always back there trying to have me nervous. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely got to go back there, man. So this water can flow out of here like it's really supposed to. Well, I guess that's, that's good for here for now, you guys. I'm satisfied with this for now. So you guys, I just thought about something. I'm gonna stop being lazy and I'm gonna take the trail camera. I'll find somewhere to set it up back there, okay? Let's do that. Um, I, I just don't want to miss no action right here at the main dam. You know what I'm saying? Ever since we saw that tiger, I met that, <laughs> the bobcat. I'm, I'm just joking. <laughs> Ever since we saw that bobcat, it's like, I don't want to move from right here. But, uh, I think we're going to try it down there this time. All right. So we're going to, we're going to find a spot down there. I'm going to, uh, get it off the tree. I still hadn't changed the SD card yet, so y'all got to remind me to change the SD card, okay? And I got to change the battery, so remind me to do that. If you don't remind me, I'm going to get you. Okay, I got it off, so I got it off, so I gotta put, I gotta set it up somewhere different now. I gotta set it up somewhere different. We gonna find somewhere, you guys. All right, so you guys reminded me. Thank you for reminding me to change the batteries and to put in the other SD card. Thank you. Ugh. So let's see if we can find somewhere to set up this trail camera down here. Oh man, that old bite and fly. <laughs> Leave me alone. I might have to get the steak. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, man, that tree over there, that tree over there, this tree right here. Um, where the dam usually be about right there, huh? So, now I know I got to do brainstorming with you. Ugh. Is that poison? That's some kind of poison right there. It's got two leaves. The way it's growing, it looked like it could be. Ooh, don't, don't drop on my arm. I don't want to find out. If I set it up on that tree right there, I don't know, man. I might get the stake and st if these beavers is bold enough to want to build, I'm going to put the stake right in the middle of the creek. I'm going to do that, you guys, because, man, either it's going to keep them from building or we're going to get it. We're going to get the action. I don't want to have it way over there and it don't get them. Okay, so let me go get the stake, and I'm going to put that joker right here in the middle of the creek like we tried to do at Beaver Dam Creek. We'll see how intent they are on building the dam. How about that? So let me go get the steak. Yeah, and I took the, the thingy that beats it in the ground back, back to the house because we hadn't been using this. But uh, maybe it's soft enough. Maybe it's soft enough. I can jab it in there good enough. Let's see, that damn usually be right there. So, I'm wondering 
Nah, because we want to see them coming. If possible, we want to see them coming from that way. Because it always seemed like it triggers best when, well, you know how it's facing down there and it's looking this way and they got to go past it. Ah, decisions, decisions. I'm going to put it closer though. Oh man, I don't know. Oh no, it's usually right here. So if I put it right here, you guys, I think that that'll work. That feels, ugh, that feels pretty solid. That feels pretty solid. Let me, ugh, mm, one more time. Okay. I'm trying to remember how I had it on there before. I know I had to wrap that joker. Did I? Yeah, we had it on the stake before, right? Yeah. I had to wrap it around there a thousand times. I probably should go ahead and... I should have probably went ahead and put it on the pole first. Instead of playing over this water. Because I don't want to drop this joker in the water. I do not want to drop it in the water. Man. So, that's a lot of... It's a lot of cord there. Here's what I need to do. I need to pull that tight this way. Then I won't have to worry about trying to wrap that in. So I just wrap this a thousand times around here. And I know we had talked about possibly changing the, the sensitivity setting. What you think? What you guys think? I'm listening. Give me your ideas. I don't hear you. <laughs> you guys are mighty quiet out there. <laughs> you guys are mighty quiet. I don't hear a thing. Y'all as quiet as a mouse. <laughs> Man, it's trying to twist to the side here. That's okay. We'll, we can, oh no. Yeah, let me just go ahead and get it tight. And then I'll readjust the pole according to how it wants to act. Since it wants to act how it wants to act and not how I want it to act, which is typical. It does not want to cooperate. Get it tight. We don't want it falling in the water. We do not want it falling in the water. Okay, so is it turning? Yeah, it's turning. Okay, so. And then we can adjust it up like that. Oh, yeah, you guys. Either this beaver's going to be scared to come and build. And then it's going to, all the action to be at the mother beaver dam. Or... We're we going to get the footage of this joke. I'm not, I'm not going to change the sensitivity either. I know I should probably back it up some according to where the dam was, but... Uh, um, I think all right, that's going to do, you guys. We're going we gonna to let this work, okay? We are going to let this work. We're going to make it work. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Ugh. Oh, 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 yeah. I don't have my balancing stick. Oh yeah, that'll scare them off. That'll probably keep them scared away. Or they might get bold. I don't know. Ooh. I think I want to angle it down a little bit more. I'm going to angle it down a little. Let me see. Wait a minute. The camera lens is right there. So... No, uh, let me look at it again. Yeah, I might better angle it down a little bit more, you guys. Just a little bit more. According to where the dam was built at. But I guess, I'm brainstorming, y'all know how I do. Chill, 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 don't talk about me. I hear you talking about me. Will he shut up and make up his mind already? <laughs> After a while, I will. Thank you. 
<laughs> All right, so hopefully it's not too far down. You know what? It's too far down. <laughs> okay, right there. I had to lift it up just a pinch. Just a pinch of an inch, okay? I think that'll work, you guys. I think that'll work. We're gonna try it, okay? So, I'm gonna turn it on, and of course, it's gonna catch me, as always. I heard uh, Dan was saying that he got a trail camera that works um, where he can control it from his phone. I was like, what? That is what I need, so I don't have to come out here. <laughs> wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Okay, all right. Okay, it's counting now. I might can get out of here without it getting me because I don't have to walk in front of it. But my finger might have triggered it already. Oops. Okay, you guys, yeah, we're gonna leave out this way. All right, do your thing, trail camera. That's if they come. That's if the beavers come. And we're gonna get out of here. Oh, uh, I gotta wash some of this mud off my boots before I head back to the to the truck get some of that heavy mud off of there all right so we we've left this area here you guys I guess we'll see what it does down there and maybe next time I'll probably put the stake further back where to give it a more wider view since I'm not being lazy anymore. It was like, I did not want to take it off of the tree for the longest, <laughs> but now that I got it off, uh, I guess it won't be so difficult to set it up in different places. I still, I still gotta learn how to operate the cameras that, that you got me, Sister Linda. <laughs> We gonna get on out of here, you guys. Gonna get on out of here. The sun is going down. And I done drank all my water. Woo. I guess the spiders, they sort of block, block my entrance here. They keep my entrance safe. <laughs> Whoo, man. Let me crank up my dirt bike. Uh, let me kick start. Uh, they make electric start dirt bikes now. <laughs> you know what? Let me just use my electric start. <laughs> I'm not even making the right sound. <laughs> I ain't going to do no wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all remember last time I did a wheelie, I wound up in the corn over there. <laughs> oh man. But anyway. Yep, yep, yep. That's that, you guys. I guess we're going to see, see what was on the trail camera this time around. Oh, that breeze feels good. Y'all feel the breeze? Woo! Nice and cool. Cool breeze. Well, I guess I'm gonna wrap this video on up, you guys. Hopefully I'll make it back safely to the truck without y'all's company. Maybe the, the bears and the coyotes and the, the bobcats won't take me down. <laughs> but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed watching. And remember, I take prayer requests if you have any. You can you can leave a comment on YouTube or you can you can email me. My email address is there in the description box. But hope you guys enjoyed watching. You guys stay blessed. You guys keep in coverage. Oh man, I feel my dirt bike spirit coming up. Oh yeah. And as always, we'll see ya in the next one. <laughs>